Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today is going to be the last video I actually film with my uh, Mercury Retrograde dupe palette, whatever you want to call this beauty right here. Also, I switched out one of the shades. Um, this was Dig It from the ColourPop uh, Big Poppy palette, but I switched out for a single because I was, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with decluttering Big Poppy, so I switched out just in case I end up decluttering it and giving it to somebody else. But um, yeah, without further ado, I'm just making sure my primer's not creasing. Let's just get into the eye look. Ah, hi. Okay, so I know that I want to start with the black. And the black is Let's Do It from ColourPop's uh, smoke show or blow and smoke palette, whichever you happen to have. And I'm actually going to put this um, pretty much all over my lid. Well, most of the way onto my lid. I'm going to leave the inner like third of my lid blank. Now, I'm going to go into the purple right here. And this is Iffy from the Lilac You Lot palette by ColourPop. And then I'm also going to, so I'm going to blend out the black with this. And then I'm going to go into this shade, which is Miracle Romance, I believe. Yes, from the ColourPop Sailor Moon palette. And I'll blend out Iffy with that once I've gotten this black blended out the way I want it. I think I'm gonna do purple on the top and then green on the bottom. I love purple and green together. It's such a pretty color combo. Just taking that purple in a little bit. Might even mix that purple and black just where they meet to help blending. All right. And now I'm going into Miracle Romance. Okay. So moving on, I'm going to go ahead and use some glitter glue or no, some mixing medium, whatever. Glitter glue, mixing medium, whatever you got. And I am going to just pat this on my lid, going a bit over that black. This is just to help the shade I'm about to put on top stick a little better. And that is the Multichrome from Chaos Makeup in Intergalactic. This is so pretty. I It kind of goes from like royal purple to pink to a little bit of red, and then on the other side of the spectrum, it goes from like indigo to blue to almost like a teal. It's very pretty. I'm just gonna use my finger for this. Okay, and then about on that line where that metallic and matte black meet, I'm gonna take the glitter, which is Sweet Life from the Candy Button palette by ColourPop and take this on my finger. And I assume you understand I'm not flipping you off. I just like using my middle finger for makeup stuff. Just doing a little bit of that because I like it. All right, and then down below, I am going to actually mix the two matte teals. This one is, what are you? Ice Cold from the Mint to Be palette. And then this is Urchin from High Tide, both our ColourPop palettes. I'm gonna mix those and begin blending those into my outer corner and starting to bring them in. Sorry, it's really hard to capture what I am doing on my lower lash line while also being able to see what I'm doing. 
So apologies if it's not always visible. Okay. On a fluffier brush, I'm gonna take the shade, um, sorry, the shade Zodiac from Urban Decay. I do believe this is discontinued. But just on a wispy blending kind of brush, I'm just putting that down here as well. I don't mind kind of an intense under eye where it looks like really bruised and dark right here. I don't know, sometimes I'm feeling it. And I like the look. Add that shadow back. I'm gonna take this Franken shadow and I'm gonna pop that under my brow. And then I'll take my other little eyeshadow. This one is, um, I don't remember the name. I think it's Frostbite or something. It's from the Profusion Sapphires palette, which I think I have mentioned already, but just in case you don't know. I also have two other looks using this palette on my channel. If you are curious and want to check those out, please do. I'm gonna take Urban Decay's main line, just like a deep teal. And I'm gonna line my waterline with that. Okay, and then mascara wise. Just gonna do a couple coats of whatever I've got. Whatever I pull out of my drawer, that's what I'm gonna use. This is the Rockins Cosmetics All Night Thunder Mascara. I got it in a boxy charm. All right, so there is the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go do the other eye, do my base, and I will actually be back to kind of talk about how I feel about the palette if I still want the Mercury Retrograde palette, you know, because um, I felt pretty definitive at the beginning of this little experiment that I didn't want the Mercury Retrograde anymore, but maybe that's changed. So uh, if you want to find out what my final final feelings are, just stay till the end. So I will be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, so the rest of my face, um, is I have my, well, so I tried to use, um, one of the AOA blushes, the goalie. It was Auburn. Yeah, Auburn. Um, I cannot for the life of me get Kindle or this shade to look nice on my skin. They're just so patchy and so hard to work with. I think the colors are nice in the pan, but the formula is just not up to par. So I am actually going to be cluttering those for sure. Um, so because that wasn't working, I went over top with my Melt Blush. And this is the duo in Buzzkill. And I just used the Buzz side, which is the more coral side. And it turned out okay. It saved the day. And then for my highlighter, I have a combination of the Hourglass highlighting stick in Champagne Flash, which is just like a light pale gold. And then I have my Vesca Moonlight Highlighter on top. And then another product that might end up getting decluttered, um, Abani's liquid lipstick formula is kind of hit or miss. Uh, the ones that are a good formula are fantastic. And then other ones are just awful. I don't know where the inconsistency is, but God damn. <laughs> um, but I tried using the shade Temptress, which is like a deep reddish brown. It's almost like just a straight up red or like a burgundy. It's still pretty brown. Um, but that I did two layers of it and it was so patchy and it wasn't sticking to the center of my lower lip. So I went over top with 
the shade PMS from Fenty Matte Moselle Lipsticks. It's that one right there. Like you can't even tell in the swatch how patchy the Ebony one is. So I'll give it a couple more tries. See if maybe um, moisturizing my lips like a little bit more in advance would help if my lips were too dry. If they, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. Sometimes it takes a little finessing, but we'll see. Either way, let's talk about this beautiful baby right here. And if it has for sure put me off of wanting to buy the Mercury Retrograde. Spoiler, I'm just going to cut to the chase. It has. Um, for a, a little while there, I was a little skeptical and I was like, well, you know, I don't know. It'd be kind of cool to have the actual palette. Like there's, there's always this part of me. I was like, no matter how many things I have that are the same or very similar, there's always a part of me that's like, well, but what if, what if the thing that I want is actually really, really good? Like what if Huda's formula is the best thing ever? I constantly do that to myself when I see a palette or a blush or lipstick I want. Like I could have five red lipsticks that are all in that deep, dark burgundy family, but I see one that I want and I'm like, well, it could be the best formula ever, but I know it's probably not going to be. Like it just, it, it's always like this compulsion to find the best things. And like, well, you know, I have, I have five or six teal eyeliners. I don't have five or six, but like as an example, I have five or six teal eyeliners, but it's that teal. I need that teal. That teal is different than all of my other teals. You know, like I just, or, and where that really came in was my dupe for the Mercury shade in the retrograde palette. And this is Mermaid Waters from Give Me Glow. And the entire time I've had this palette assembled, I have kind of looked at the shade and I'm like, well, you know, it's a really nice eyeshadow and I love it in this palette, but the one in Huda's palette might be better. <sighs> like, just stop it. I just, sometimes you gotta slap yourself because you're being too silly. I, when I, when I think about it rationally, I know for a fact I have more than enough and I don't need exact versions of the things that I want. You know, like I know that and I, I recognize that, but it's still hard. So for a little while I was like, man, I would love to, you know, maybe play with the retrograde palette. Still like I, I was flip-flopping a lot. And when I was slip flopping, I only filmed three looks, but I did come in here and I did play with it. You know, when I started thinking like, hmm, I wonder, you know, like maybe I should actually just go ahead and put the retrograde palette on my wish list since I'm still thinking about it. But I have constantly in those moments, I've come in here and played with it. And I've also pulled up pictures of the actual retrograde palette and compared my version to that. And there is no comparison. There's no comparison. I love this one so much more because her palette is basically a nude pinkish palette with a pop of purple and a pop of teal. Like, or I'm sorry, two pops of teal. Whereas I feel like this, this right here suits me so much better. This suits my taste so much better. Like I'm sure, okay, and like I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this again. I'm sure the Huda palette is gorgeous. I'm sure the formula is gorgeous. Great. I've heard great things about her eyeshadow formula, but I don't, I, I like, I know, like every time I start thinking of the Mercury retrograde palette, I'm like, yo, yeah, I want it. But then I actually see it. I'm like, no, no, I really don't. When I, when I think of the idea of the retrograde palette, that's what I want. I want the idea. I want the thing that I've built it up in my head to, you know, built it up to be in my head. I don't want the actual palette. Because when I think of the palette, I think of the teal. I think of that beautiful purple. I think of the reds. And that's what I put in this palette. So like, no, I'm not going to buy the Mercury Retrograde palette. 
but I, I know because I wanted it for so long, it's going to take a while for me to get out of this wanting for the palette. And especially when I see other people talking about it, like, um, make me up Missa. Um, she's a fantastic, fantastic creator. She does such beautiful looks. I will leave her link below. She is incredibly talented, but she talks about I thought I heard Edgar. Um, I'm so paranoid. Um, she talks about the Mercury Retrograde, and it's one of her favorite palettes. But she loves those pinky purple tones that Huda puts in every single palette, pretty much. She loves the colors that Huda picks because those are the colors she enjoys. I know, I know, knowing myself the way that I do, knowing my tastes in makeup, I would not be 100% happy with that palette. I would want it for the teals and that royal purple and like that cool toned uh, purple shimmer and probably nothing else. I wouldn't reach for it for anything else besides those things. And that's a lot of money to waste on like what, four eyeshadows, three eyeshadows? I'm not spending $70 on three eyeshadows. I'm just not, not when I have perfectly acceptable dupes for those things. I have so many wonderful versions of those colors in my own collection. I don't need a brand new palette just to bring in more of those things, you know? And as I've talked about, like when I built this palette, there are things that I know I don't like about the original. The, there are things that I feel like are missing or that they completely excluded because they weren't thinking about it. Or I don't even know. There are just things that are missing that I wish, you know, I, I wish it was more like this. I really, really do. Um, if it was more like this, maybe not exactly like this, but more like this, I would be so much more inclined to buy the palette, but it's simply not. So all that to say, I feel like I, I talk a lot. Um, all that to say, I will not be buying it, as I just said, but it will take me a while to stop wanting the Mercury Retrograde. But um, I am going to be dismantling this palette because I want to use this Z palette for other things. I'm going to be duping uh, a few more palettes anyway. I have a list of palettes now that I want to dupe out or dupe the vibes of. Um, but I have, sorry if that was loud. I have all of the shadows in the C palette currently written down. Um, so if I ever want to rebuild it and revisit it, I can. I will just leave this in a drawer um, where I can find it easily in case I want to do this, do this exact palette again in the future. That is, that is it. Um, I really do highly recommend this if um, you haven't been in the habit of like duping things throughout your collection for, you know, duping the things you want with things you already own. If you're not in the habit of that and you are trying to cut back on your makeup buying, I highly recommend this. It is so fun to dupe the vibes as Hannah Louise Poston does, where she just takes the aspects of the palettes she really wants. She takes aspects of those and dupes out the things that she thinks she would use the most. And I think that is also an excellent idea because as I have learned and have been told, you know, like through other YouTube videos and stuff, like the things you see on the market that you really, really love, you probably already have a couple times over already because you love that thing. So you're going to buy that thing. So just pay attention to what you already have. Love on your collection. Get in there. No, I'm not going to preach at you because I'm still new at this, but it is seriously so helpful. So with that, I'm going to go, I'm going to dismantle this, get ready to do another duping palette. I don't know which one yet, but um, it'll be a surprise for you and me. <laughs> but thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.